Okay, we'll talk a little bit about the natural log function. Natural log function is abbreviated LN, like log natural. And natural log of x is inverse to e to the x. Now e, as we know, is the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over n raised to the n power. But that doesn't help you very much if you need to do a calculation. Calculations for these functions need to be done using the calculator. Okay, both these functions are on a calculator. Um, the values of the natural log and the exponential function are almost all irrational numbers. Long decimals, infinitely long decimals that never repeat, no pattern particularly. Okay? But both these things are on your calculator, so let's see how to use them. Um, now, it follows if natural log is inverse to e to the x, that uh, natural log of x is the log to the base e of x, because log base e is inverse to e to the x. Log base b is always inverse to b to the x. So if b happens to be e, we get this. Okay, now, let's just do an example now. Let's say we want to solve the equation 8 natural log of x equals 3. Well, first, we're go ahead, going to go ahead and write that to remind ourselves that this means 8 log to the base e of x equals 3. Okay, well, how do we solve this? Just as we'd solve it if it was a base 2 or a base 8 or a base whatever. We first put this in the form log to the base e of x equals 3 over 8, and then we convert it to exponential form, which says that uh, x equals e to the 3 eighths. And then you use your calculator. You've got an e button, you've got a natural log button. You also have an log log button and a 10 to the power button. Um, So you're going to use your calculator. Now, as usual, calculate tor. As usual, I'll do a rough estimate. Now the square root of e is around 1.7, because 1.7 squared is 3.89, which is pretty close to 3.71. Um, the 3 eighths power is going to be a little bit less than that. So I'm going to say x is maybe about 1.5. Check your calculator and see how I did. It's not going to be all that close, um, but there we have an example. Okay, so any equation with a natural log, express the natural log as log base e, and, and just proceed as usual, knowing that you're going to have to use your calculator to calculate the final result. Okay, there are going to be some problems of this nature for homework. Um, we could also solve okay, this. Now, for e to the 1.06t, if these numbers numbers 4 and 7 represent thousands of dollars, e to the 1.06t is the factor you would use um, to do compound interest, um, com interest compounded continuously. That's 6% interest compounded continuously. So it's like saying $4,000 for t years at 6% compounded continuously equals $7,000, solve it for t. So we want to solve this equation in any case for t. So we get e to the 1.06t dividing both sides by 4, that equals 7 fourths. Then 
converting this to log notation, I find that t is going to be log to the base e of 7 fourths, which of course is the natural log of 7 fourths. And then you can use your calculator to calculate the natural log of 7 fourths. That's, that's ridiculous. Because I was trying to estimate that and getting something that didn't make any sense. It's 1.06 T, and I hope you noticed that when I did that. So 1.06 T equals the natural log of 7 fourths. And T is the natural log then of 7 fourths divided by 1.06. And then you use your calculator. Get all the letters in there this time. Okay? So, you'll have some pro homework problems. They're very straightforward. They'll be very similar to these problems or to the problems you've already done with logarithms, just getting you used to the natural log and the exponential function.